a lot of consideration has to be made for um, control and privacy issues. Um, those would be the things that I would be most concerned about just because when you have a, an avatar or some kind of existence or, or representation in a virtual environment, um, usually that character has um, assets that, you know, more or less that person worked for. So um, I think maybe if we do move toward a, a metaverse as a goal, some way for that person to be able to keep their assets that they've earned and possibly to transport them if appropriate. And um, just laws that um, can help uh, that, that can help uh, users um, maintain things that they've earned, and that's rightfully theirs. I think um, my answer to that will be based off of what I'm seeing now, in, which is in virtual worlds and online games. And I think um, my background comes a lot from uh, gaming and massively multiplayer online games. So the things that I've seen in these games that are really exciting to me are the emotional connections that people make with one another um, to, you know, somebody who lives on the other side of the world that they've never met but whom they've shared days and weeks and months of you know in-game experience with and I think that really is very powerful to me the fact that um, it's the it's the game that um, you know first draws you in but it's the people that make you stay and want to keep playing Oh, um, sure. I'm sure there are lots that I haven't thought about as well, but um, I, I think one of the things I'm most afraid of is maybe the um, tendency for people to get too involved in, in games and online worlds. I, I think that I've seen a lot of people who will displace their, you know, normal um, lifestyle with, uh, in order to, you know, participate in something that's happening in the game. And I think there are reasons, pro and con. I, I think it's um, up to people to sort of be more responsible for their real life commitments. But at the same time, I think that if somebody could, you know, sort of harness the power of what's so compelling in these games and actually um, use them for something productive or in order to solve a problem, um, and and if people had that same fervor and you know were so, as immersed in these games and, and wanted to achieve those those social goals in the same way that they now achieve you know dungeon rating, then I just think that would be incredible. When I look at the landscape for the next 10 years, I think that it's kind of easy to predict where hardware will go. Like, you know, you see the iPod and handhelds and, you know, Xboxes that are now your personal home entertainment center and stuff. And I think that that's actually fairly, um, the, the direction that that's going to go is fairly obvious. Um, what I think is um, really cool about virtual worlds is that there's so much possibility there but right now our tools for interfacing with those virtual worlds are still sort of primitive. I mean we're still using mice to navigate around a 3D world, we're still looking at screens um, and using keyboards and I think that the next revolution um, that will really change this entire environment is going to be a new um, form of input from the human user to the the 3D world so you know we're more I don't know ingrained in it so you know you're using like um, a glove or you know whatever um, a peripheral headpiece or whatnot um, to to more easily be able to like turn your head and navigate and see something on the horizon or or um, you know just be able to grab things and pick them up so I, I'm really excited to see you know when that will start happening. I think if you tell them that you could talk to somebody that you don't know um, from somewhere in the world and be able to make friends with them and to learn about them and their backgrounds and to share experiences with them and even you know work together toward a common goal and have a lot of fun doing it, um, that 
I mean, that's possible now, and I think that will be um, even. Uh, we'll continue to think of great ways to do that in the future. Um, promising.